What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back again with another episode of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered and this time we're gonna go and do another mission I think I need to kill uh, Braddock uh, I, I think I killed him before, or at least I hurt him badly and, uh, and now I need to just make sure that the job is gonna be done really deep snow here, fantastic scenery really really nice graphics now I am uh, really shocked. No uh, horse with me this time, so I have to walk to where I need to meet um, Zillo. I think it's her name. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's play some Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Don't know... Um, yeah, she's quite far away, I think. And the snow is... It's really deep snow. Uh, I don't know if by killing stuff I can eat it. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Oh, a bit of, a bit of swimming in the really cold water. And this is a hunting region. Concord. I don't know if I can use pieces of... Uh, here we go. If I can use these. Can I? No. Oh. That's someone I really... Oh, those guys, I really don't want to mess with them. Still far away. I don't know how to call a horse. I thought there was a way of calling a horse. But I can't find the button to do it. Uh, yeah. Can't find a way to call a horse let's uh, let's just run over there as fast as I can I don't know why I haven't got a horse I had a horse when I went there but because I chased after her I think I've lost it on the last episode so I don't know okay I think this is the same yeah the right tavern so Time to go in and uh, see what my mission is going to be. Five months later. In the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you... <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. I've got my team. It's time to... deal with General Braddock. He's General Braddock. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Can't do anything at the Warm moment. Warm weather and bugs Pop are soon to be the, the least of our worries. Okay, what? that's a little bit better. You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Here we go. Now I can do something. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. Let's go and meet Zillow, won't she? If I have, what the Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. 
United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. She is rough and ready. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance. The French will leave. Or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls. Else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. All right. Uh, wait, wait, clear signal. the scout camp. Targets killed one. There, in front of us. All right. Any guys here? Oh, too many, too many. Okay, that's the one I want. Oh, what? Come on. Kill them! Done. Yeah, there is. Any more? He's done as well. Two more to go. Oh, cool. Right. Oh, he got a nice disguise now. Okay, I didn't do... So, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I have to go down that way, I think. Right to bad exposition. Um, why is the horse not going down? I'm gonna go this way. There they are. Where is he? Oh, this is easy. At least it looks easy. Have served, you mean, sir? You are grateful to have served. He's ruthless. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Oh, George Washington. 
You did kill him. Sir. Oh, it's Charles. Where are you off to, Edward? Assassinate Braddock. Okay, here we go. Dead now, here we go. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then. Oh, whoa, such arrogance! I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Ooh. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go. Come on. I don't deserve this. Let's go. You're a hypocrite, Hatham. I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand. Go. <clears throat> Why, Hatham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. It's done. It's a bit strange, those trees popping I've up. I've upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. No. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. 
But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And the love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Oh, Aitham. The Braddock expedition is complete. Pretty badly, but complete nonetheless. Oh, right, something else is happening. So I'm gonna leave this. Uh, see what's up now. A few days later. Okay. I have to go back inside there. So that's gonna be for the next episode. So I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, or if this video helped you. Please give us a like and consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I will be back again with some more Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered very, very soon. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.